Hello, Eagle Valley Middle School. I'm Alex Pizarro Ramirez, and, he, and today we're going to do something different. So I was just reading some Amazon reviews, and there are, some of them are pretty funny, so we're going to read them, some of them to you. Okay? Okay, the first one here is, where is baby's belly button? It lift the flap book. Do not, do not buy this book. You can see the ending on the cover. Where's baby's belly button? The lift flap book board book. The book is completely misleading. The entire plot revolves around the, the finding baby belly button. The title makes no. <laughs> the title makes as much clear from the beginning. However, there is no mystery. There is no twist. The baby belly button is right where it's supposed to be. The baby on the baby stomach, right where it clearly shows you on the cover of the book. The plot is simply messed up as a result of the reliance of mystery and where the belly button is. Everything falls apart the second you realize that the belly button was in the plain sight all along. There is no conflict at all. There is no character development, and there is scarcely any plot. However, whoever wrote this book should, is a serious error, error in judgment, because you would have to have an infant not to immediately understand where the baby belly button is. This is one of the worst pieces of literature I've ever read. Sars Battlefront, Deluxe Edition, PlayStation 4. Congratulations, EA. You earned one star. Additional stars can be purchased for five and forty-nine each. That's an inside joke. You probably wouldn't get it. Yeah. Some people wouldn't get it. I can't do that. Okay. One. No. No. Yes. Overhead rubber penguin mask. Happy feet. Animal fancy dress. That's a lot of things in one title. I wear this mask to sing lullabies to my children. They are terrified of the mask. Whenever I protest about their bedtime, they ask for too many sweets. I whip out, whip on the mask, and they soon know who is the king penguin. One hundred thousand, one hundred nineteen hundred thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. This is hands down the best decision I've ever made in my life. And the box it came in is incredibly roomy too, which is a huge bonus because I live in it now. From Eric Smith. The black levels and color depths on the TV are pretty good for the price. However, the small screen size is a deal breaker. I, rem I recommend buying an IMAX theater instead. Yeah, you probably could buy it with that money. I measured the TV and it was actually 104.6 inches, not 100.5, so I returned it! Okay. Okay. Got that brand new Rolex for $35,100. I didn't have an issue selling my home or having a wife leave me for this watch, but who can resist when the shipping is included? I mean, like, who needs love? <laughs> okay. Uh, who needs love? We'll do this last one. The signed. Okay. Charles Kidd Nichols single handed auto baseball bat. Ball. PSA. <laughs> okay, this is the best autographed baseball I've ever purchased. Highly recommend for getting this product. I'm going to buy at least five more Wait, from Jason. Is it, is it one of a kind? No. No, it's not. Bought this immediately. Great thing to play in the park with your dog. From Salmon. <laughs> Salmonella. <laughs> if you can't afford any of these items, this helps her banana slicer is only six nineteen. <laughs> okay. Stop sharing. Like a, like a, like a bullet train.